Hey everybody, Angel Cosillo here. Thank you for tuning in to another Cosillo Blade Review. And today we're going to be taking a look at a new knife. And that knife comes from Boker Knives, Boker Plus. And it is the Boker Shrimp. So there's a shot of it. That right there is the serial number, 957. a little three finger fixed blade but yeah so before I hop into the stats of this knife I'll show you the box it came in which is this pretty nice little box came with that it came with little pamphlets one's in German one in English and then just this insert here, foam, and a little piece of foam on top. So get that out of the way. And the sheath is just really nice kydex with the lanyard attached to it. You can see how they did that. But just cool little rattle nothing bad anyway overall length is from tip to the end of the handle here it's coming in at 5.31 inches the blade length is 2.36 so from the tip to right there the ricasso and the cutting edge is two and a quarter inches so this little guy to my knowledge is pretty legal because it's just a small little blade the handle scales are contoured and textured black G10 with brass pins and a brass lanyard hole or tube, excuse me. Look at that, just cool. And this is very comfortable out of the knives I've handled. Just the way they shape this. You can see it's nice and rounded, super super comfortable really locked in really firm grip but it's got black g10 the steel is d2 tool steel which i've only owned one other knife with d2 so i'll be curious to see how it works how it feels the blade style is a trailing point you can see that upswept blade and this is a full flat grind you can see there And another cool thing is the finish. I think it looks neat. They have it as stone washed, although to me it kind of looks like bead blast, but I'm no expert. Uh, I got this for around 50 bucks online. You can find it on various websites, give or take, around that ballpark. Um, the designer is Sandor Hagus. Don't know if I'm pronouncing that last name right, but Sandor Hagus. He's done a couple other knives with Boker. Um, and also this is made in China. So this is not the Germany made knives from Boker. So what we're gonna do here is I'll show you the cutting edge. I haven't cut with anything with this. So let's go ahead and, oh yeah. Yeah, that's sharp. For sure, for sure sharp. Yeah, snag a little. I don't know. Snagging a tiny bit. You see those curls? Get those focused in. So, as you can see, it's got a nice edge. I did make a little leather sheath for this, just personal preference. I got it for belt carry. Carried it once, carried it today actually for the first time. 
didn't cut with it because I was planning on making this video, but yeah, that's it. That's the Boker Shrimp. I think it's a really cool, I love unique shaped knives. I think this guy definitely is, but we are going to do various tasks and then we're gonna do some closing thoughts after this. So again, here's the knife, sweet little blade. And what I have here is some soap tree yucca. And this I plan on using as my spindle. But what we're gonna have to do is pick a section that I like and smooth it out and make it a little more functional. Let's go ahead and start carving. Also, yucca is really not something that's too hard. Let's see, just snap it. Already, smoothed out and this knife did pretty easy nice and comfortable no hot spots nothing like that and that full flat grind really makes it nice at carving so this should be definitely a lot more useful go ahead and go off and carve the other parts of this little kit. All right, folks. So what we got here is the other pieces for this uh, friction fire by hand. So previously you saw us make that. Now got some two bigger pieces of yucca and we're gonna get them ready and shaped correct for a little uh, fire. Yeah. Cool, that's what we want. Get it nice and flat. We want this to sit flat when you're using it. Even it out a bit. Okay, so that 
kind of the shape you're gonna want. You can see right there, nice and flat. Here's blade after that. Again, really fabulous feel in the hand when carving. So, let's see. So right here, get that drilled a little bit. Now, we're gonna go ahead and pre So you want to get that just a little bit. Now, what I'm going to do is pick a side where I want the ember. Let's see. I guess we'll do this side. So now, now to carve that ember. Like that. And like that. A little bit of a problem there. Guess I shouldn't have done it so close. No matter. That means I'll just do that. And you want it to barely reach, barely reach this little divot spot. Almost, just a smidge. All right. that as far as you want to go but let's go ahead and try it out all right There you go. Little ember. So as you can see, this knife can help you start a fire if need be. Look at that. Wonderful. So I wanted to also go through and cut just some different materials Stuff you might run into. Thicker ounced leather. It's about between 12 and 10 ounces. It's really rigid. Hard stuff. Let's see if we can puncture. Yeah. Look at that. 550 cord. Easy. Very easy. All right. Kind of awkward. Let's try. Let's try four. Nothing. Some dog food 
cardboard, two layers. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's easy. Twisted. It's like a thicker rope. Let's see. Easy, minimal effort. Again, I really want to stress how comfortable this handle design is. It kind of looks funky, but it really does fit the hand, and you get a really solid grip, and you don't get tired, you don't fatigue. And it's also just as comfortable in your non-dominant hand, whether you're uh, left-handed or right-handed. All right, everyone. So I want to do some final closing thoughts on this knife. So, yeah, I'm just happy. Um, I'm impressed uh, with this D2. I've done, um, as you can see, all the cutting I've done, you've seen. And I've even... Um, carried this a couple of times in between um, shooting the segments of this video. And I'm just happy with it, I'm very impressed. Uh, it's extremely comfortable in the hand. I keep saying that because I mean it. Um, it's really solid, the construction. Um, that leather sheath you see in this video is the one I made for it. Um, but I did carry it a couple of times with the Kydex and the Kydex is great. Um, a little rattle, still there, but the retention's there, snaps in, you're not going to lose your knife. This is the edge after all the use. So, this is unbiased, this is what we're dealing with. a little bit of that like somewhere around there it keeps snagging but it's still very sharp and very useful so yeah I think if you're looking for a nice little EDC fixed blade this is a great option um it did exactly what I wanted and as you can see by that friction fire test this is the kind of carving I intend on using this knife for along with whatever comes up day to day um, I really like this fixed blade so thank you guys for watching um, hopefully you got something out of this video and yeah it's just nice so anyway thank you guys hope you take care have a good rest of your day, night, wherever you are. Thank you.